Hello, my name is Christian Cano. I'm a product planning engineer. We continue with this video series exploring how to use the Symbio UI. Today, I will be showing you how to upgrade the firmware for your controller using only the Symbio UI. This is our agenda for today. We are going to start explaining the full version and the patches related to the firmware. Next, we are going to review where to get the latest firmware available for the Symbio controllers. Next, we are going to review together the controllers that are allowed to be upgraded using Symbio UI. And in the last part of this video, we are going to review together how to do a upgrade using the Symbio UI. Full version and patches. We have two ways to upgrade our Symbio controllers. The first one is the patch. It's the primary update mechanism. Use it whenever possible. These patches are smaller file sizes, less than one megabyte. The format is SCFP and only contains the updates from the previous version to the new version. The idea with these patches is that you can use it through all the networks. You can use it using back in MSTP, R5, for example. And the idea here is that you are going from one version to another, one by one. You can go from the version 1.0 to the version 1.1 .1 with one patch, and next with another patch, going from version 1.1 .1 to version 1.2. The other available file to upgrade that and a firmware is using a full version. This full version is a large file size version. We are talking about here about 50 and 60 megabytes in average. The format of this file is SCFX and the only way to do this upgrade is using USB connection or Bagnet AP connection. And to do this, you have to follow the traditional upgrade path. You can go, for example, from the version one directly to version 1.2 with this 60 megabytes file. This is the difference between patches and full version. Where to get the latest version of the firmware? We have three different sources available for you to download the, the, light, the latest version of the firmware. The first one is the public train web page. Here's the print screen of the page. Here you can download the firmware for Symbio 800 programmable versions of the chillers Symbio 800 firmware, the latest version of IntelliPack Symbio 800, also, you can download here the Symbio 700 firmware versions and the Symbio 210. In the next weeks, you will be able to download here the latest version for the Symbio 500. The second way to download these firmware files is through our train internal network, our train commercial downloads page. Here you can download the programmable, here are the IntelliPacks, chillers, and also the displays, firmware upgrades. The third and the last way to download these firmware files is using Train Updater. Here you can download the same versions for chillers, IntelliPacks, and the programmable for the 800. Also, you can download here for the 700, 210, and in the next few weeks you also can download for the 500. Going back to our internal train network, here you can also download for the 700, 210 and in the next weeks for the 500. Now what controllers are available to be upgraded using CBU UI? Here is a table to show you which controllers you can download, you can upgrade using Symbio UI. For example, for the 210, the only way to upgrade the Symbio UI will be in a couple of months 
the only way to upgrade the firmware is using USB cable using this Symbian UI. For the 400B, now you can use the USB cable direct connection and you will be able to do it using Ethernet connection in the next releases. For the 500, you are able to use the Symbian UI to upgrade the firmware using the USB cable, the Wi Fi adapter, using Wi Fi connection, using the host mode for the Wi Fi adapter. Through Train Connect, you will be able to use or to upgrade this uh, controller using the Wi Fi adapter in the client mode to try to use Train Connect through Ethernet connection for the 500 in the next releases. In the case for the 700, there is no UI available for the CMU 700. To conclude this table, here you can see for the 800 in the versions for chillers, for IntelliPack and the programmable, you can use all the possible ways to upgrade the firmware. For the direct connection, you, you can use USB cable or the Wi-Fi adapter in the host mode. And for the remote access using Train Connect, you can upgrade the firmware of these controllers using Wi Fi adapter in the client mode, LTE cellular modem connection, and Ethernet connection. Please, for the Wi Fi adapter in the host mode and the client mode, please refer to our video related to the how to configure the Wi Fi in the Symbio 800 and Symbio 500. Now, to show you how to upgrade the firmware, we have a direct connection here to a Symbio 800. The next step is go to Tools, then Firmware. You can see the current firmware version, the product name, the software part number, the hardware part number. Here you can select the file in your computer, so you have to download first the file through your computer and here you will be able to select the file. There is another option here to upgrade the firmware for the cellular module. We will review this in another video. Now we are going to click here. Here you can click in select and you can select the file you want to use to upgrade your, fir your firmware. Please note this file is a full version. The extension is SCFW. You can select open. And you will see you we are moving from the version ends in three to the version that ends in four in this case. Now we click in upload. Here we have a warning message. We can click in continue. We have to wait until the file is uploading to the controller. A procedure to reboot and the CBUI will restart. The CBUI will show you that the version was right uploaded and we can see that in, in a few moments in here. This process can take five minutes in average. After the process ends, you will view here a warning message. You can click here, OK. Now we have to review this end user license agreement. After you read it, you can click here in Yes. I accept the agreement. Now continue. And you will be able to navigate and use the CBUI and your firmware are complete in your in your controller. We are going to review in tools again, firmware, and this is the new version of your firmware. Before ends this video, I would like to refer you to this document in our Train Commercial Help Center. This is an article that shows you that the procedure to replace a controller and upgrade the firmware 
for the IntelliPack Symbio 800. And here is a document, I have it already open, that shows you the way to upgrade the firmware and helps you to change the controller, upgrading the firmware and taking a backup and upload that backup to the new controller. We're going to review how to backup and restore your Symbio controller in the next video. Thank you for watching. For additional information on Symbio UI, please stay tuned for the rest of the videos in the series and the Equipment Controls homepage.